Asmongold is wrong on 1.13, and it shows me getting fired by Donald Trump, who is also Kale Foss. Okay, so this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be great. Yo, guys, Punk Rile with another video. So this video is on a topic that's honestly been really bothering me a lot lately. I keep thinking about it, and okay. there's been a little bit of, of talk about it in the community, but um, I feel like I, I'd, I'd make my rebuttal here to some of the mainstream content creators and their take on it. Okay. So it's the idea of post Naxxramas content or patch 1.13, Classic Plus. Those you watch one Asmongold Reacts video, boom, that's it. That's all it takes. It's like AIDS. Those are the three names that Except I've seen. Except it's better. Uh, seen used to describe it um it's it's kind of been moving around you know it's been it's been a hot topic for the last i'd say a couple weeks okay but i don't think it's been hot enough like there needs to be more exposure on this and i feel like the only voice that we're hearing is asmongold like at the end of the day he's become like almost a monolith in the community thank and you that's great like his take is it was really really bad like his initial take on this was really really bad um at least from my perspective well, what and is it he's got such a huge fan base that it feels Thank almost you. like he alone can sort of like dictate the way people are thinking about something it's great which you know is is a bit annoying to me so i'm i'm just gonna you know try to get my voice heard on this topic as even though i've already made a video on this i, I made a video that was more based on the dream okay, of it man, and... let me read some donations uh let's see uh boys and streamers uh and as we look away from we some snowflake this guy fucking hates you yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people that fucking hate me, T-Ducks. Thanks very much for $5. All I need to do is see usforums.blizzard.com. I already know someone's mad. Thanks for the 5 bucks. Appreciate that. Can you use the good add-ons for your bars and bag on? Um, well, I, I am using the good add-ons right now. I, I think so. I like them a lot. Uh, Cheese Puffs, thank you very much for the gifted sub to just give me a sub rule. Um, Affiliate, thank you much for the 300 bits. I appreciate that, too. Thank you, thank you. Um, okay, I got everybody else. Thank you guys so much. All right, let's see if he's going to be able to, uh, to, to get to what he's talking about. It was more sort of like uh, flashy and less about the substance of how it can be implemented from a technical perspective. Okay. Um, so I, I here I'm going to lay down some more arguments. Um, so the first video that started this whole thing was, well, Tips Out made a video on it a while ago. It yeah. was kind of meh, you know, he, was, he, was, he wasn't really getting into it too deeply and the video wasn't specifically on that. It was like, what are the, like after Nax, like what are the different possibilities? And he had just slightly mentioned 113 and then Asmogold reacted to it. And I don't think he gave 1.13 a fair shot, to be honest, you know, and he did like a straw poll and all this stuff and his whole community obviously all backed him up. Well, it was actually, it was pretty competitive, but it was pretty much like, yeah, let's all go TBC. And, you know, coming... Well, that's not my opinion. Like, yeah, I think they should do TBC instead of 1.3. Like, that's my, that has been my stance. It's a better and smarter decision to do TBC instead of 1.3. Okay. Coming from my perspective, somebody who I, I've said this a million times, um, so many times in my videos that TBC was my favorite expansion. It still is. Okay. But honestly. Good. Right we can opinion. do better than that. I really feel like we can do better than TBC. Like TBC has so many elements that are that just ruin the game. There's some. Can we do better? Can Blizzard do better? Can Blizzard that made Vanilla WoW do better? Can Blizzard that made BC or sorry BFA do better than TBC? I don't know. Like that's that's the question, right? Because those are the same people. I mean, it makes me a little bit nervous about that, honestly. Um, really big issues in in tbc that really strayed away from what made classic great and flying mounts are probably the biggest one um so this is personally an and that one was i would honestly have no issue skipping tbc entirely and just making classic 2.0 like experiencing all of classic and then moving on to new content releases for classic a lot of people are pretty skeptic when it comes to this sort of stuff. You know, um, I was watching. Like, what do you do with that? Do you just make the gear afterwards, like, a lot better than the Naxx content gear? Like, how do you handle gear? 
because this is the same problem that retail wow has where you have like these exponential jumps and this is what was happening in wrath of the lich king whenever you know you would get 10 points of armor penetration and 10 points of critical strike rating at item level 200 it would give you this much dps but whenever you were doing it at item level 260 in like nax or sorry icc 25 gear then it would give you 100 dps so i i, I don't understand like what is the what is the meta here? Like, are we talking tier four and tier five and classic WoW or what? Because if you do that, you're gonna run into the the problem of power growth, and that's why they have the expansions in a way is so they can reset the power growth of secondary stats. The initial video, th th there was Asmongold's reaction here, and then there was another video where he was on his stream talking to um, Sfand about it, and. Immediately, the, the, the first thing that everyone says all the time, anyone who's played Classic WoW, is power creep. That's the first thing that people go to. And um, okay, I don't think this is an issue. You know, people, people are always saying how, oh, the gear from Molten Core all the way to Nax, like the power creep is insane. If we power creep even further than that, like it would break the entire game. First of all, that's not true. The reason... I guess this guy never played um, Miss the Pandaria or Legion or Wad. Like, what are you talking about? Like, I, I, oh, okay. Let's just keep going. The reason why power creep is so significant is because gear was so badly itemized in Molten Core and Blackwing Lair for the most part. The only good loot in Blackwing Lair is like a couple little off pieces here and there, and then all the loot off Nefarian. Oh, like the loot is terrible. So you're pretty much going from like, I don't have hit cap and I have to use blue items to get hit cap to, you know, gear that has agility, strength, stamina, that, crit, hit. That's already been disproven in the, in, in the, the later expansions. Like, the gear was finally itemized in uh, Emerald Nightmare because people had the gear from Mythic Plus that they had the specific stats for. Then Nighthold had much more better optimized gear. And then you went, did you compare Nighthold DPS to Antorus DPS? It's night and day. It's completely different. The idea that Power Creep and Vanilla didn't happen because of some sort of, like, bullshit stat issue is partially true, but that won't fix the problem. Just thinking that because the things were badly itemized is the only issue is completely untrue. It, like, the whole nine yards, everything that you need on it, and then going to Tier 3, which is perfectly itemized. But at the end of the day, you're not once you hit that max threshold, like you're you're in, you're there. Like that's that's the top end gear. And if you were to um, surpass it a little bit, it, it wouldn't be that much of a difference. It wouldn't be the same sort of power jump that you'd have from going from um, uh, MC gear to AQ40 Nax gear. And at the end of the day, everyone who's doing Nax, all the Fury Warriors and stuff, they're all using tier 2.5 anyways. So like they don't even really have much gear in Nax available for them what does this have um, to do with post next and content? here's another thing the, the way crit and hit works in vanilla is it's always one percent right so you get one percent hit or one percent crit or two percent crit or two percent hit so like it's not like hit rating and crit rating where it's just going to jump and then you're going to get even higher like you could very easily going post max content maintain the crit and hit at the same level and just slightly increase the uh power that you get from base stats or power that you get from you know just the attack power so that point that he made there actually is a good point and it's true uh so what he's saying is that in burning crusade they changed hit rating percentages and crit rating percentages into a flat value now this is also assuming that if they introduce post next content in classic wow they don't actually just take it up to three and four percent which is something that they could do Right. And again, this is why I'm nervous about opening that door, because, yes, you're right. In a perfect world, I think that Blizzard could make good post next content. But BFA proves to me that we are not living in a perfect world. So I do think that it does make it easier for them to develop post next content if they do keep to the one and two and maybe three percent crit rating and hit rating uh things that they have on vanilla WoW gear. So he is actually right in this point that it does at least slightly offset the amount of power creep that we have because it's not growing at the same type of level as the second or sorry the primary stats are like strength and stamina on the gear
increase or spell power increase, which yeah, it scales with the crit significantly well but it's not it's not gonna be that game breaking and you could also maybe even do it relatively in a, in a more like um horizontal sense in, in a sense in, in a way where i think this is what they did in old what? school runescape where they they actually like all the new content that they've been releasing is the same item level i guess you could say quote unquote item level power as the older content so i, I think it's totally feasible and another i don't know thing anything that can about that so i can't is, say you can explore set bonuses and you can maybe make sets for, you know, different specs. You can make a set for enhancement shamans or elemental shamans and help make something viable that isn't, or at least slightly more viable. You know, we can explore new territory. You can keep the gear the same uh, item level. So what he's saying basically is to add new sets that give the underrepresented specs like enhancement shamans, uh, moonkins, and let's say arms warriors, uh, different abilities that they have that makes them more viable in raiding. Um, the issue with that is like, obviously you're going to then disrupt the balance of PVP. You disrupt the balance of the entire game. Or not really the entire game, but mostly also PVP because those two things are interconnected and you get your PVP gear from doing PVE. So I think Blizzard really needs to be careful about doing something like that because they could indirectly affect PVP in a way that they wouldn't want to. So Classic WoW is fundamentally unbalanced. Yes, that's true. But I don't think the solution to creating the fundamental or fixing the fundamental imbalance is to try to balance it because Blizzard has spent 10 years trying to balance PVP and we still have overpowered comps and bullshit as well. So unless you want to have classic basically just mirror the buff and nerf cycle that retail WoW has, you're better off just sticking with what we already have. Like everybody wants classic WoW, let's just have everybody get classic WoW. I don't really see how this is hard to understand. or same range as Nax, maybe like slightly, slightly better to where it's like almost negligible and and just sort of add more fun elements, like make new trinkets that do cooler things or, uh, you know, just little things that just create incentive to want to go there, spice things up a little bit. It doesn't, it doesn't have to always be the way Blizzard always does it, where it's like, oh, the new content's out. Okay, everything is now relevant in, in, in the previous patches. And Vanilla has never really played out like that. Like, when Blackwing Lair comes out, like, there's still tons of gear in Molten Core that you want to get. That, there's that, Bandit that's Bacteria. Very true. There's, that is very you true. Know, a bunch of items in Molten Core that are still fully viable. When you're that doing, crit right there. you know, AQ40, you're still going to Blackwing Lair. You still want Neltharion's tier. There's also yep. kind of not enough loot in general available for the whole raid. It takes forever to gear out your whole raid that's while raiding, point. you know, consistently for months. Yep. So adding in I more agree. horizontal content just creates more incentive to just, okay, we're going to do Nax, we're going to do uh, Hydral, we're going to do uh, whatever other, uh, Uldum, let's say. And we're just going to do all three of those raids every week and eventually we'll get everyone geared out. So the way the new game plays is the moment that new item level or that new raid raid patch uh, raid patch hits, everything from the old, old uh, dungeon is like irrelevant. There's no point. It's such a huge gap in item level. He, he's right. I, I, I want to make one thing clear here because I think that he's arguing against something that I'm not saying. He's arguing, at least in my mind, for having this content versus not having the content. Whereas in my mind, I think that the argument should be, should we have this content or Burning Crusade? In which I think they should do Burning Crusade first. Not instead, but I think they should get Nax out see what the community wants, and then go from there. I am extremely nervous about Blizzard developing new content for Classic because it's a door, it's like a Pandora's box, that as soon as the, uh, pa that as soon as the door is opened, now suddenly everything can be potentially fucked up. So I'm, I'm very, very concerned about that. And he is right about a lot of these points. Uh, I do agree with them. And honestly, like he, he, he does have good insight, but I'm waiting for the point where he's giving a rebuttal to me saying that BC would be better than post nax content, which is that that's the main point that I'm making everything else. I don't really care about level between the two that there's no reason to go back there. So at the end of the day, horizontal or like slightly, slightly buffed gear makes sense in the vanilla context. And, um, the next thing that I've been hearing um is or the next level of 
almost like hypocrisy that I've been seeing is people that are that are you know they're, they're saying like oh the power creep and then saying the TBC is gonna is not gonna power creep but if you think about it like you're literally increasing the level gap by 10 you know and you're making everybody who's lower level that much weaker you know what I mean yeah they're not end game level but still you're you're creating an entire huge new sort of like threshold of power that can be attained and you're also completely neg negating everything in the old game where this would could be completely different I think it's I think it's a lot more of a viable concept than people are giving it credit credit for uh, I'm not even gonna comment on the expansion being synonymous with a power creep like yes obviously the expansion is a power creep like it's a completely different type of power creep though it's a power creep by definition because it's an expansion that being said I, I i don't see how that's remotely comparable and he does have another good point that i want to bring up here where he talks about all of the content from the previous expansion expansion being irrelevant that is a problem in my mind and i do think that blizzard should have done something to where you there wouldn't be this much of, of growth between one expansion and the next so for example i think that tier three should just be slightly better than t or slightly worse than tier four and tier six should have been slightly worse than tier seven tier 11 should have or tier 10 should have been slightly worse than tier 11 and the gaps between the gear has just gotten bigger and bigger and bigger and i i, I worry about that happening a lot and that's basically what has happened and I do think that they should make expansions like not a complete reset, but I can see why Blizzard does do that. And um, so the main reason why I made this video is because I was watching this this reaction video over here with uh, Asmongold, and you you guys all know who Mark Kern is. Mark Kern is I love Mark Kern so damn much. This guy is a freaking gem. Like he's he's. And he's so smart too, like just the way he expresses himself in general. I just, I really like this guy. So he, he's been streaming on Twitch and there was this Reddit post, you know, going over some of the things that he was talking about. If you guys want to check out this video, it's Asmongold watches clips from Mark Kern or just go on the Reddit and actually search it. Oh, I know what he's going to talk give about. Mark okay. Kern the views on his actual Twitch videos, on his Twitch clips. But um, let's actually just, just watch it. So, or watch this portion. So listen to this. All right. Wow. Expansion progression based on the principles of you always have to stay true to what made classic wow classic wow okay and if you do that i think that that's the way i'd like to see expansions done and then there's precedence for this i think runescape did something similar eventually they got their own content path you know for the classic version of runescape and that's what i'd like to see happen with wow if you just follow the expansion packs you're going to end up right where you started and based on the principles of you always have to stay true wow uh wow holy shit uh so that means that he actually wants more content after nax uh, i wonder if he's worried though uh about like i don't know like i i'd be curious to hear what his response would be whenever i said you know like how i feel i'm just worried about blizzard messing it up I wonder what he would say about that. In the older versions of these games, might might cause a little revival. Why not? Why not bring back MMOs with a little more challenge where you actually feel okay. like you, you live in this world, that you're not just dashing through it. Incidentally, that's another reason why we okay. didn't do free flight. Not only was it Fuck yeah. technically challenging, but we Fuck didn't yeah. want to ruin the sense of world. We thought that in EQ, when you started porting around with druids and stuff, that yeah, this is stream it was getting guys. way too it shrunk the world it made it feel inconsequential and you just blew through these zones and you didn't have the sense of world we wanted you to walk i'm gonna just go ahead and skip ahead here okay to get guys a feeling that you're actually in it because he's now, just maybe watching that's not me true anymore so we're gonna we're gonna maybe skip ahead a bit just want instant gratification but i like to think that there's still a lot of people they get into it they're not invested that my biggest grievance tested it's just like okay i did the thing that really that happened really fast and now i'm done so okay that's nice so yeah i mean 
my biggest my biggest grievance with Asmongold, honestly. Here we go. I'm glad for him, and I have nothing against his popularity level. But he's not the voice of the classic community, and he's sort of taken that role. You know, like self self anointed like king of classic is kind of what it feels like. When did I but he hasn't played that? classic or TBC in like over ten years. Like, there's so many people that have played both of them. I I I just played Nostalrius, and then after Nostalrius shut down, I played Warmain, TBC. So I like I literally just played both of those expansions, and I've been playing them for the last six years. I know exactly where they stand. You know, I and Asmongold is sort of. Okay. So, you spend all your time playing vanilla and TBC. I can see why you have a little bit more than I do hope and optimism about things going well. Because you didn't have to sit through legendaries and legion. You didn't have to sit through titan forging happening. You didn't have to see BFA ruin the game. You didn't have to see all this stuff happen. My perspective is someone who's interfaced with Blizzard today. Not 10 years ago, not 15 years ago, but today. I've seen what's happened to the game. While you've been sitting and fucking and pissing around on private servers, I've been playing the actual game every day for 10 years. My skepticism is not unfounded is backed up by 10 years of bad decisions that cater to bad players. He's played to level 30 in the beta, you know what I mean? And he's 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 just he's just got such a grasp over the community and uh, I I don't I don't think a lot of the times he knows what he's talking about. And uh that point like when I I can guarantee you there's never going to be a point where he says he doesn't know what he's talking about, and here is an example. That Mark Kern was talking about is huge. I mean, the portals in the Burning Crusade, that's one that I missed earlier. Like, just the fact that you're just jumping around everywhere all the time, that's another one. You know, that that, that completely ruins the game. There needs, there needs to be more talk about this. You know, I think it's going to happen organically, because once Nax hits, you know people are going to be like, okay, what now? And I think a lot of people, especially people who haven't played vanilla or TBC or haven't played TBC in a long time and really want to go back to TBC because there's that same element. There's a lot of people that didn't get to raid Sunwell, you know, and then Wrath of Lich King came out and it's the same thing with Nax, right? Where it's like, yeah, oh, we didn't I didn't get to experience Nax because TBC just came out and killed killed the uh, vanilla. But a right. really insightful point, which again is another thing that I've been thinking about you know pretty regularly about uh, on this topic come on it, you can't say that your own points are insightful i mean what are you doing oh my god so like uh, all right he's making the point that i'm making is that a lot of people want to go back to tbc too i mean like i i i, I don't understand how this is such a hard concept that re-releasing something that already has proven success is a better business decision than creating something new that has unknown uh, an unknown outcome like how, how is this just make both well great and he's even saying what i'm saying here that whenever nax comes out then people might want this and you know what the only thing i'm saying is wait until nax comes out like let's talk about it then that mark kern said said in his video he said he said, if, if we just re-release all the same expansions, we're just going to get back to where we were. You know what I mean? Like, if TBC gets released, then all the people who hate TBC or don't want to go down that path again and just want to play vanilla, then oh, you just left all of those people behind. No, because they can still play vanilla. Like, this isn't zero sum. If they don't want to play TBC, they can just play vanilla. I mean, like, who actually hated TBC? I feel like a lot of people didn't like TBC as much as Vanilla. I personally thought Vanilla was a superior game. But uh, overall, I thought TBC was great. You know, and then Honestly, once Wrath of Lich King comes out, it's probably one of the more popular, if not the most popular expansion. Okay. But 
I don't really want to play it. I mean, I'll play it for a little bit, but I don't really care that much for it. Same, it's sitting actually, in Dalaran same. all day and you know, looking at the freaking looking for group chat. It's super boring. I'm pretty much just going to PvP all day in Wrath of the Lich King. It's the only thing that I have fun with. I would agree but with that. I'd so much rather, you know, just play vanilla and you know maybe add like arenas, not rated. Okay, just a minute. I've got to respond to something stupid in chat. Sorry. You said that TBC is superior to vanilla hypocrite. I think the end game in TBC is superior to vanilla. The end game in games is not the way that games should be defined. I think that games should be defined by the entirety of the experience of playing it and not just the end game. The end game in TBC, in my opinion, is superior to the vanilla end game in multiple re ways and reasons. That being said, I think the entirety of the game and the game experience in Vanilla WoW is superior to TBC. If I could have to choose one or the other, I would rather play Vanilla WoW. Arenas, but just fun arenas to classic, just so people can mess around and do skirmishes, basically, like you were able to do in patch 2.0.1. Okay. You know, maybe uh, bring in the Emerald Dream expand on some of the stuff that you know i covered in my last video like just make make classic the best that it can be and it's like it's like endless you know what i mean like classic can be endless they could milk it forever and they don't have to relaunch a new game over and over again they'll just add little patches to it it's so much easier for them i think well that can be arguable but maybe not from a logistics pers perspective the TBC would, would be another endeavor entirely. They'd have to, you know, check every single quest and do a whole bunch of bug, bugging, another beta, another this, another that, where if they just add in content patches to Classic, I think that is A, more sustainable, and it won't fragment the community in the same way, and it won't bring us back to the, sh you know, excuse my language, but the shithole that, that, we that we're in right now. I, I really think this is this is the best alternative. I think Classic Plus is the best alternative. And okay, uh, so I, I think that is kind of true in a way. Uh, obviously that, yes, if they just keep re-releasing expansions over and over and over, but I think that really you have to sit back and look at like what, like what time frame are you looking at here? Are you talking about what is WoW going to be? Because in order for them to release the first three, the first two expansions, right? Burning Crusade and uh, Wrath of the Lich King. I don't think anybody really cares about Cataclysm Onward. There are some people that do, but I think the vast majority of people care about the original trilogy of the three games. Um, after that, that's like five or six years from now. I'm going to be 35 fucking years old by then. I'm going to be bald. Like, I, I mean, I'm not even thinking about that. Like, if, if Blizzard wants to develop WoW past that point, I think, yeah. I mean, doing something and reforming Classic and doing something different with that with an OSRS perspective could work. A am I very, very skeptical about democracy? Yes, I am. Why am I skeptical about that? Because ask yourself a question. How many people would have voted for the Dungeon Finder before it came out in Wrath of the Lich King? I think it would have been about 85 to 90 percent. Most people would have. So yes, I'm very concerned about that because I think the player base in general trends towards convenience. And it's not something that's going to happen overnight. It's something that happens. It's like kind of, uh, you know, like how, how do you eat a horse or a whale? You eat them one bite at a time, one bite at a time, one bite at a time. So it's, it's not like any one change made WoW terrible. It's just all of the little small changes that are made over time have diluted the sense of satisfaction and fulfillment that people get out of it. I've said this a hundred times. So, yes, I'm very concerned about the, uh, you know, the, the player base making these decisions. And I think that this person obviously comes from the private server community. And in the private server community, you basically only have or you have people that are trending towards being more hardcore players because they're going out of their way to create and find the server, download it and play it and do all this other stuff. They're undoubtedly more invested players by definition almost because of the fact that they're going out and trying to download and find these servers. That being said, whenever you introduce the same game to a larger player base, 
what is the chances that that larger player base is going to have a different opinion on the different systems in the game and is actually going to look at the videos like the ones that people have made about you know top 10 changes that are made in vanilla or made after vanilla wild that are good like tracking mailboxes for example tracking mailboxes does not do anything to harm the game but it is a certain amount of continuity that is a little bit stupid to me i don't think you should be able to track mailboxes and it's all these little tiny changes that happen over time, and then suddenly you have BFA. So yes, I'm very concerned about the Classic Plus approach. And I would be completely okay with them doing a Classic Plus approach, but I think they should focus on TBC first. I, I'm not even saying this is a bad idea, but I think TBC, it's a, it's a sure shot. It's a, it, it, there's tons of people that want it, especially after they play vanilla. E everybody's going to want it. Like, I mean, I, I no. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I feel like, I mean, do you, do you guys really think that Blizzard is just going to come out with new classic WoW content and it's going to be great and it's not going to somehow fuck up the game? I mean, let's not be stupid here. Of course that's not going to happen. Something will go wrong. People will be alienated. And it's not going to work. I don't want either one. Yeah, I, I'm sorry to say, but uh, just release the cut content. No, they should release the game that was a best-selling game that defined the entire genre. That was one of the best in-game experiences that WoW has ever had. I think they should release that rather than trying to create some new thing that's somehow going to keep people invested. I mean, how, how can you be so stupid to think that they shouldn't re-release something that's a sure fucking thing? Of course they should. And that's me being like TBC is my favorite expansion. By okay. far my favorite expansion. Like it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't even compare. TBC is 100 percent my favorite expansion. That's a good idea, Pogish Chance. But if there was an expand a quote unquote expansion for Classic WoW, that would be my new favorite expansion. You, you know you know what I mean? So I, you... I I Well wait a second. let me let me listen to that again. But if there was an expand a quote unquote expansion for Classic WoW, that would be my new favorite expansion. How do you know that? How, how like I mean, am I taking crazy pills here, guys, or or am I the only person that's that's thinking that this is completely optimistic? When? How do you know that it would be good? Yeah, I mean, for a lot of people, Burning Crusade was their ideal expansion. That's so stupid to think. You, you know, you know what I mean. So, okay. I, I, I don't know. I, I really think there needs to be more talk about this, and I think there needs to be more pushback against Asmongold. I think it's happening, happening naturally. You know, he seems to be. He's an open-minded guy, but he, he needs to be open-minded, and he needs to hear the other end because it seems like he's already questioning his perspective when he hears someone like Mark Kern um uttering the things that mark Hearn is saying so um anyways that's that's pretty i never questioned it at all like i i was always open to the idea like i, I i've always been open to the idea of doing this like w when when have i not if i'm not open-minded why am i watching this person's video talking about how i'm a piece of shit on my stream i, I i've 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 probably engaged too much with people that disagree with me. Like most of the content of reading things, the most interesting content, in my opinion, is where there's a discourse because that's more interesting. Just reading somebody and watching it again, be like, true. Oh yeah, classic WoW really is gonna bring back the sense of community. Yo, big, big true boys. Can we get a true in chat? It's like, everybody knows that, right? Yeah, of course. Like, what do you mean? I, I don't interface, I, I'm not, I'm not open-minded. Like, just because I don't agree with you doesn't make me op not open-minded. It might just make me think differently, or it might make you wrong, right? Or at least in my mind, it, it's wrong. No, I mean, like, how, how I, I just, I, I, I don't get how anybody can genuinely convince themselves that re-releasing or creating new classic content is a better idea than re-releasing Burning Crusade. Like, in, in any context. Like, unless you're talking about redesigning the entire game from the ground up, and I don't even think they should do that personally. Like I, I, I don't. Like if Blizzard wants to redesign the entire MMO idea, 
I think they should try to recreate the entire game because it's it's in 2004. There are so many things that people are not going to like about it. They need to update it in some way. Like they, they need to make a WoW 2 instead of trying to recreate classic WoW content and hope that it's not shitty. You said you're open mind. Well, I am, right? But I'm open to listening to other people's ideas, but that doesn't mean that I agree with them. Being open-minded doesn't mean that you agree with everyone. It means that you're willing to listen to other people's opinions and make a decision for yourself. Pretty much all I wanted to say, uh, just like a little reaction, a little rebuttal to what I saw here. Um, and uh, yeah, just, I'm really curious. Again, I'm, I, I do this every video recently, but I'm really curious what you guys have to say on this topic. Um, I mean, I really don't think there's an issue with horizontal uh, gear scaling or slight gear scaling. I, I don't think power creep's a problem, and I think we can easily, easily make uh, Classic Plus content uh, fully viable and retain that world, because that's really what it is. Ret I don't want to sit in Shatrath all day, you know, from taking flights to Blade's Edge and taking <sighs> flights to Netherstorm, and that's pretty much the only exploring that I do. I want to play Classic. I want to get on the boat. And take a boat to Methyl Harbor. So he likes he likes classic better than Methyl Harbor, like, or li like sorry, uh, Methyl Harbor better than BFA or geez, uh, BC. Like that doesn't like. How can you say that, oh, I want to be in Classic and have that be new while you're talking about going going somewhere that was made 15 years ago? I mean, I, I just... Like, adding a new raid or something like that to Classic WoW isn't going to make the game... It's not going to re revitalize the game. Like, even if they did that, it wouldn't revitalize the game. They need to... If they want to make and develop a new MMO, they have to do it from the ground up. They can't just keep trying to reskin Classic WoW. And then fly to Tanneris and then ride, you know, to the Caverns of Time, the new epic Caverns of Time dungeon or, you know, go wherever, you know, go to Hygel. You know, I want to, I want to retain that old world. I want Azeroth. I don't want Outlands. I really don't want it. Even with the updated gameplay and whatever, it's, it's not worth, the payoff is not worth, not worth it at all. So anyways, yeah, that's, that's the video. That's what I had to say. Probably missed some points because this is just kind of like a random ramble, but it is what it is. Anyways, uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the drill, soldiers, and uh, I'm out. Peace. Okay. So here, here's basically the way that I feel, right? If don't understand a guy wants to do good stuff, just make it. I, I mean, well, here, here's the thing. Here's how I feel. Uh, I, I think they should make TBC content. Uh, they should prioritize that over making Classic Plus content. That That's how I feel. And I, I don't think Classic Plus content is as much of a sure thing as BC is. I think BC is going to make a lot more people happy. Classic Plus content has the chance of hurting the game whereas BC content does not because it would probably be created on a separate server. And I just feel like it would be an overall safer bet for Blizzard to make, and it would just be common sense. Give me TBC. Yeah, I mean, like, l l l let's be real. Uh, dislike the video. I'm not going to dislike the video. Give me a fucking break. I think Asmund wants one point one three thrust and face in Blizzard to deliver faithful... See, oh, wow, here we go. This is This is true. Good point. Let's see. Yeah, exactly. Uh, misrepresenting his viewers, been saying he doesn't trust Blizzard to make a good Classic Plus, but it's shown some interest. Okay, so at least, all, all right. All right, so people do understand what I'm saying. Um, okay, that's good. Poll TBC or Classic Plus? We already did that. Like, people voted, um, majority of people voted for, uh, for Classic Plus. Or, sorry, for, uh, TBC. Yeah, that's what it was. Uh, Red Pills, viewers, comments? Yeah, I mean, people have seen this already. Uh, why not release new content, but what is this here? but keep the gear quality the same or a bit better. I mean, that's great, but like, how, how many people do you think are really going to give a shit about that? Like, it's not even a good idea for Blizzard to do that. Like, it, it, it's not. Like, they should make TBC. 
Like how many people are going to go around and raid for hours and hours and hours to get something that's a side grade? People want to have progression in a game. That's like one of the fundamental aspects of MMOs. You can't just take out the progression aspect and say everything is going to be horizontal now and expect people to be involved. That's why nobody wanted to play Guild Wars 2 or nobody wanted me to play Guild Wars 2 or these other games. Uh, I mean, it's, it's almost like it's self-contradictory because one of the big reasons why people like Classic WoW so much is you're able to make meaningful progression. And yeah, obviously like getting a set for a, you know, like kind of a more niche spec, like Enhancement Shaman, like his example, uh, that would be really cool. And I do think that there are ways that Blizzard could implement uh, a patch 1.13 and actually have it work and be good. But I'm not really sure if I, I trust them on doing that, which is my main concern. And I think also that conversation should be had whenever we get to the end of Nax. And then if most people want TBC at that point, I think Blizzard should develop and work on TBC servers. I think that's just what makes sense. Blizz is bleeding out and will likely die? I, I don't think so. I mean, Blizzard is a really big company. They have, multi, they're, it's like a multi-billion dollar company. Blizzard's not going to die. Um, let's see. Yeah, so that's basically how I feel. Escape for people who have no idea what I'm talking about. Well, I mean, here's the thing, right? Is that like this person is like, I'm the king of classic. Like, when did I say I was the king of classic? Like, I've actually, like, honestly, I should start saying that because that actually sounds pretty cool, right? And, and I've never said that. But, I mean, like, realistically, I, I've never said that I was the king of classic or anything like that. It's just, just a bunch of fucking bullshit. Like, I, I've never self-anointed myself as, like, the spokesperson. I've always said that things were my opinion. I've done this for the beginning. Like, there are a lot of people that disagree with me, and I've never said that people can't disagree with me at all. That's why I bring people on and debate with them and talk to them all the time. Like the argument, that I, not argument, the, the discussion or argument, whatever you want to call it, debate that Stay Safe and I had the other day about that troll guy uh, in, in the tournament. Like, it, it's just, it's not even true. I feel like these people don't even watch my stream and they just complain about me. Uh, you guys want to argue? Yeah, I mean, let's be real. Hell, they can't classic, baby. Yeah, dude. Jealous? I, I don't. I don't like saying people are jealous. Uh, like I don't know. I just. I feel like that's like kind of shady to say or like scummy to say. But um, in general, like I, I don't know. Uh, TBC sucks to vanilla. I really hope they can go for Classic Plus. I mean, I, I. I think that it would be cool, and I think that in a perfect world, Classic Plus content could come out, and it would be good. But I don't know if we live in a perfect world, and BFA. You aren't really making rebuttal to anything. Wherever you're accusing Asmodee of things that you're not knowing what he's talking about without giving examples, it's absolutely atrocious. Particularly the part about his content, we're just watching another video being watched by Asmodee and Christ. Yeah, I, it, it's it's sad, man. It really is. He didn't get the invite. Check his Twitter. What do you mean the invite? Like the the beta invite? Let me see. Um. Okay. Let, let's actually see here real quick. Blizzard's IP is dying. Here's why. That's a good thing. Okay, wait, well, what's playing here? I can't promise. Can we just pause that? I don't know what the hell that is. Classic WoW won't fail, my prediction. Most OP consumables. Okay, coolest Classic WoW locations. Okay, dude. Uh, l l let's see what we've got over here. Well, I oh, I don't even see his Twitter. I mean, I'm not going to try to go and, and, like, find this guy's Twitter. I mean, like, who really gives a fuck? But, like, the point is, can we enjoy Classic or sometime before getting into this? Well, that's the thing, is that's all I've been saying. That's the only thing I've been saying. Just wait a while and then talk about it afterwards. That That's it. I linked it. Uh, I mean, like, where'd you link it? Let me just look. Because if this is somebody who's who didn't get into the beta and is complaining about it, I feel like that, you know, hey, uh, it's just a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a clue as to what's going on here. In the description, okay, let me just look in here. And we'll go to the next video in just a second, guys. Twitter, okay, let's see if we can find it here. Uh, who needs the classic beta anyways? Okay, so he didn't he didn't get into the beta. Uh, you win some, you lose some, I guess. It's the way it goes. Okay, um, let's see. Okay, um, l l l let me go to the next one here real quick. I think I saw one of these videos. I'm not sure really what it was, but I'm going to go ahead and take a look at it. I think it was this guy that made a video that I wanted to look at. Uh, I think it might be this one, Classic Mar uh, Classic Wild Marathon Mass Sprint. Let's see if that was it. I'm trying to remember what it was. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was this one that I wanted to watch. 
Uh, you're unlimited of gold. Uh, sorry, I mean, this guy is annoying. Not hamster wheel? Well, what do you mean? Like, is somehow, like, this person worse than everybody else? Like, I've watched a number of this guy's videos before. He's been fine. Like, the, the guy's been fine. Like, everything's fine. We'll just watch the video. It's a seven-minute video. Listen, guys, with the servers being up and, like, people saying that over and over and over, I, I have it open right here on my screen. Like, I'm literally looking at it right now, and I'm clicking back and forth, like, every three seconds while I'm watching these videos, waiting for the servers to be up. So the second they come up, we are logging on. Don't worry. Read donations. Let me read them real quick, okay? Who says it needs to be one or the other? They could do Vanilla Plus and transition to TBC. Well, logistically, I mean, they probably would want to direct their efforts in one way or another, and yes, in a perfect world, yes, everything would happen and everything would be great and there would be no world hunger, et cetera, right? But in the real world, we do have limited resources and, uh, you know, a certain amount of time that we can allocate to different projects. So yes, if Blizzard wanted to do both of them in a hypothetical world, I would say, great, let's do both of them. But if one has to take precedence over the other, I think that BC should take precedence over Classic Plus. They should cut off at the end of the Wrath of the Lich King and then retail and the Classic team should merge to make WoW 2. Please, dude, I can only get so erect. Thank you very much for the $5. I appreciate that. Why would we bring back Vanilla just to take it away for BC? Because we're not. They'd be separate. I don't think anybody... Like, let me say this. I would rather them make classic WoW Plus content than force people into playing BC. I, I will say that. I would rather them keep it at 60 and create classic Plus content than force people into playing BC. But what I am assuming will happen is they will make separate contents for... Uh, uh, separate servers for BC and separate servers for vanilla, which is what I think that they should do and what I think that they would do, right? That uh, makes kind of sense. Uh, do you think Blizzard will make retail great again? It will take Blizzard five years to make retail while great again. Why if people want content for Classic instead of these efforts being made to fix retail, they can just safely re-release Classic and TBC and Wrath of the Witch King. No wonder these people are usually the ones that played private servers for years and want new stuff. Well, yeah, obviously. I mean, if I played private servers for six years, yeah, I'd want new content for Classic too. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, uh, you can't fix retail. There are things that they can do that will make it better, but you can't fix it. Do you want BC servers to copy characters? I think you should be able to transfer a 60 character over, uh, but also level new characters. Yeah, uh, I genuinely don't think so. There's too much bloat in the game. There's too many items, there's too much gear, there are too many transmogs, there are too many pets, there are too many mounts, there are too many titles, there are too many gladiator titles, there are too many cities, there are too many areas, there are too many items, there's too much everything. And they just need to reset it. They need to have some sort of apocalypse that happens, like a rapture in WoW. A rapture happens and then everything else is great. That's what I think they should do. Yes, yeah, so Thanos needs to snap his fingers. That's basically what I'm saying. Ian and Afrasabi isn't in charge of Glass Plus. Might stand a chance of being good. It might. Yeah, you're right. It might. Uh, oh, and a Diablo dev who introduced Legion dailies. Keep him away from it. Jay Wilson. Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. Dedicated Wild Classic team could do wonders for the game, but this is an opportunity we may never get again. Literally everyone had the same reaction whenever Jagex Road changes, but now OSRS is one of the best dev teams in the industry. Well, I'd say let's take things one step at a time and get through the actual content, and then we'll go from there. That's my best opinion. Uh, Automa, thank you very much for the 500 bits. I appreciate that very much, man. And twice, thank you very much. Kind of crazy how most of the player base isn't even in beta yet, but here we are two months from the actual release and still constantly thinking about content months and years away without getting to enjoy what's in right in front of us. That's a yikes. You're arguing with someone who played vanilla TV series for the past eight years, whether or not we should have new content and release the old expansions. The only actual argument is that he's bored of the expansions. I would be too. Um... Well, well, I don't think that I don't think he's necessarily bored, but I think that does play into it. Um, yeah, I think it, it makes sense for people to be concerned about the direction of the game. That makes sense, even if it's in a couple of years from now. So, like, I'm concerned about the direction of retail WoW now, even though it might not happen for years, because that's what I care about. Uh, but yeah, I think people are thinking a little bit too far ahead right now. Uh, I, I do agree. Thank you guys for all the. Uh, uh, the subs and everything, the donations. I wanted to make sure that I... Uh, I think you over-glorify TBC too much and added some of the things that would later on ruin the game. Group finder, flying mounts, multi-faction hub, no faction specific classes, small dungeons, heroic difficulty, and so on. Well, I, I mean, this is, a, this is a matter of opinion. I think heroic dungeons were good for BC. Uh, I think small dungeons were also good for BC. Now, I, I don't think that they should only do small dungeons. I don't think TBC, the fact that they didn't have any big dungeons, means that they weren't going to do any. But you're right. Yes, obviously, TBC did make dungeons more uniform, and that was a negative. Uh, Faction-specific classes, I thought was silly. 
right? I, I think that every fa the faction should have the same classes. Like, it, yeah, that's that's my opinion. Uh, I don't know. I think having shamans and paladins on horde and alliance it makes sense in a way, but it's not really something that's very good for gameplay. So you know, I, I can go either way on that. But personally, I just think they should have all all the same classes, right? Uh, TVC was the best expansion. Yeah, it makes it an RPG. Well, there's a lot of things that make a game an RPG or make it more realistic that doesn't necessarily make it a better game. Uh, I think that really the focus is to make it a good, fulfilling experience. And I don't think that making faction-specific classes does that in a way that you can't achieve in other ways instead. Uh, I know people in here, I try to always be like super vanilla purist and everything like that. But let's be honest, having Shamans, Horde, and Paladins, Alliance only was a good idea. It was fine for Classic, but going forward and developing the game, like, yeah, I, th I thought that was dumb. I, I did. I, th I thought it was very dumb. Uh, Reed Shipdong's post on the forums. He's a kid. I uh, gave a swirly two back in the day. I'll look at that later on, man. Oh, the group finder, flying mounts, a multi-faction hub I don't necessarily think killed the game. It wasn't bad for the game necessarily. Uh, I, I think that really it's just a matter of like somebody's vision of like what the game is supposed to be. My what I really care about in games is the fulfillment that you get out of them. And that I don't think is undermined by like multi-faction hubs. I understand a lot of the arguments against them, but I also don't think that they're ruining the game or doing anything that, that's really important. Uh, group Finder was dope. Well, I mean, like the Group Finder didn't really happen until Wrath. Uh, I, I don't know like what kind of group finder they had in Burning Crusade, but it was shitty enough for me not to remember it. I'll definitely say that. Uh, I like faction-specific classes, not just for the RPG feeling, but it creates a difference in balance dynamic. Yeah, I mean, but I don't really know if that's a good thing, because like, if you look at the player base nowadays, like, look at how bad like the faction imbalance is on, on live servers, and like everything is as balanced as Blizzard tries to make it. It might seem like a good idea to do stuff like that, but the way that a player base reacts to things sometimes does make things like that impossible. Let me go ahead and we're going to watch this one too. TBC Group Finder was like the current pre-made Group Finder. Yeah, I don't remember it very well. My killers! My killers will not take no for that.